Our Cougar Board question of the week, we're going to throw it in right here because there's a couple of points we want to make. Uh, If you're not familiar with Cougar Board, it's the largest online community of BYU fans. Thousands of posts every day. And this question comes from Skal, one of their uh, insider subscribers. Uh, What were your impressions of Gary Bohannon based on limited reps he got? If anything were to happen to Jake, how ready is Gary? Also, why did it take so long for coaches to put Gary in? I bring that up because on our What We Liked, we liked the fact that he got in and he ran the offense a little bit, threw some passes, made his first completion in 700 days back before he hurt his shoulder at South Florida, which was huge. But now let's address address that question. Yeah, I I would love to have seen him in a series earlier. I do like that that very first series they put him in for the first half that series they left him in with the ones and anybody that's been a backup quarterback um when you get into a game especially the first game of the year as a backup you just hope and pray that they'll send you out there and let you go in there with the ones for a little bit yeah. the first line especially and the receivers so that you can get a taste of what it's like to be out there with them in case you have to get in in a critical time in a game when you're coming off the bench and so i liked that and then they brought some you know they brought Guys in as that drive progressed. I would have liked to have seen him in the drive before. I agree with that. It, it just didn't work out because they put a bunch of threes and fours in on defense, and Wyoming had a long time-consuming drive, remember? And BYU just shut him down. Remember, that last Wyoming drive was 75 yards. Yeah. They, they were under 200 yards of total offense before that drive. You know what, though? Kalani's philosophy is, no, I, I need to play these kids. These kids need experience. I don't, at this point in the game, I don't care about point spread. I don't care. Like, what I care about is getting guys experience. And I think that cut short a little bit um, Gary's ability to play more plays. And I do like that they let him throw a couple of balls. Yeah. Um, I he do too. Good. I think he's fine. He, he got a ton of reps in spring, during the summer. Um, he's a leader on this team. Uh, I think if Jake gets hurt, Gary's ready to go. I think they changed the emphasis on the offense a little bit because. He's phenomenal in the run game, like quarterback power, quarterback yeah. counter, the RPO. I think you would see a little bit more of that, and I think BYU would be fine if he played. And look, if Jake's going to be allowed to run around uh, like he is uh, in this league, he's going to get knocked out. And so you've got to have another guy ready. Well, and the only reason you let Jake run around like that is because you're confident that your next guy can go, Yeah, that you've got two of them. And Jake has to run around, it seems, to get into yeah. his thing. He, doesn't he seem like he, once he gets knocked around and runs a little bit, does it not seem like he calms down? Yeah. We're gonna and ask then, if, then he just starts to make plays? We're going to ask Gifford Nielsen uh, if he needed to get knocked around. Uh, I don't think Giff needed to get knocked around. I think Giff came ready on play one. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching The Wise Guy. If you like what you're watching, you can help us out by subscribing subscribing and hitting that notification button.